Hello, so, hello guys. Um, this is um, I'm Tanti, the FPL differential king on Twitter. Like, uh, it's my first time being on here, so I'm excited to be here. Apologies, my voice is a bit um, so like I have a sore throat and lost my voice a couple of days. It's only a day here, so going crazy. <laughs> I think it, it do. It's pretty difficult to see a clean sheet there, as we've seen. Crystal Palace has been scoring a couple of games, even without Zaha. They never used to do so good without him, but now they they just, they just seem to score. But I think it would be unlikely for a clean sheet against Palace, a good attacking team. I'd say mild because Brighton are still good defensively. As a Chelsea fan, I think I'll be a bit biased here, so um. I'm currently, I don't think he's going to give a clean sheet. I expect us to win the game to be tight one, probably 2 1 1, no, but I expect us to do well and get revenge from last time out. I'd say probably mild as well because um, it's going to be a tight game, good and no, no, it could be one of those games. I don't see many goals in that game. Uh, I expect him to do well, so I'd rate him pretty highly for this match. They still seem to be scoring a couple of goals, even without. They scored four in the FA Cup without Hardy. They seem to do well. They beat, they, beat the, they beat Liverpool as well, so they seem to do well with that, even without the injuries. So I think Bobby Barnes will do well. Yeah, that's it's, that's it's spicy. Yeah, he started the season very brilliant and then um, he stepped a bit in form. I think it was because of everything's fixed, everything's, um, all the evidence injuries and all the COVID outbreak there. So I think for the, they have a good run of fixtures, so I expect him to get his form back with, along with Calvert Lewin. So I'd probably say spicy. I mean, it's, it's against Norwich, so I'd say spicy to anyone that plays Norwich. They just consider a ridiculous amount of goals. Yeah, I'd probably say spicy. I'd probably say, I'd probably say spicy as well. Who's, I think, um, outside of Chelsea, Manchester, Liverpool, they've probably been the best defensive team this season. They've gone a bit under the radar, but like everyone's starting to notice it right now. So I'd, I'd say probably get a clean sheet. Southampton are struggling offensively with a couple of injuries up front, a bit of rotation. So I probably expect spicy. Yeah, I'd probably say mild because against this against this United team, you probably have a chance to score in. But I expect United to come back good. Of because usually when they when they lose a game and they come back good, they play Aston Villa tonight as well. So I expect the reaction, and then they will probably react again in the Premier League. I don't expect them to drop too many points when come to the end of the season. And this is where they usually pick up all the points. I'd probably say mild because um, because of all the uncertainty. We're not sure how they perform well without Salah Mane in the league. We've seen them in the cup games, but the, there's, there's a big difference between the cup games and league matches. But it's Brentford, so anything can happen. Brentford conceded uh, a couple of goals. So I'll probably say mild as well. I wouldn't say spicy with all the uncertainty, but I'll, I'll, I'll probably say Jota is the only spicy one there. Yeah, I'm currently I'm hoping he bags the goals. Uh, he's, he's, in my, he's currently in my team and um, I'm hoping he does well. But I against this Leeds team, they con another, another team that concedes a lot of goals. So I'll probably say spicy. He's in form back again. Got two, mm -hmm. two returns in his last two games. So and he, got, he got an assist yesterday in the FA Cup. So he's back to back to the goals, back to the assist. So I expect him to continue his form. That's, that's spicy. Uh, I expect this to be a cagey game. That um, with Son out, I think Spurs will struggle a bit up front. So probably Tierney has a chance for a clean sheet, but hey, he's, he's he's very good offensively. So you could you get you could get a goal or assist against the Spurs to have to also concede a bit a few times. But I'd probably say mild. I wouldn't rate him too high for this match. I think I put him below mild is I'll put him below mild. This season I don't trust any Burnley players, even if I, even if I had to free this game like I wouldn't include any Burnley players, they just concede a lot of goals and they score very little goals. It's very hard to go with any Burnley player. So I'd, I'd say below mild. Yeah, I expect us, I expect as a Chelsea fan, I expect us to not drop any more points as we've done for the past couple of game weeks. As it's, a, it's our only way of catching Man City, so I expect Lukaku to to probably get get, get the goals run as we've seen in the league. He scored, he, scored, he scored yesterday as well, so and he has to do his talking on the pitch because with all the talk he's done off the pitch, he has to gain the fans back as well. So I think he do good. I'd say spicy. 
Yeah, I've seen plenty of people as in as captain, but I, as I said, I'm not so sure. I, I don't know. I haven't seen the history of house first play with just Harry Kane and no son, but I'd probably go with him still because it's two good fixtures. He plays, he, he, he's, he's, sorry, I mean, he, he faces a list that concedes a lot of goals. They've barely kept clean sheets. I think they're top five for the least clean sheets in the league. So I expect to go, he'd probably get a goal or two in that match. And then he has a, he has a pretty good history against him. That's it, spicy. Yeah, I've I've tweeted I've tweeted about that. Um, the best son replacement is probably Bruno Fernandez. I think he was benched against Wolves, so um, I think he'd want to get a gain his spot back. He'd probably want to prove a point. I'm even considering to I'm considering to sell son and to captain him this this, this double game week. So I expect United to do well against a Brentford team that doesn't do very well defensively. So I'd probably say spicy. Thank you, everyone. Um, this was um, the source meter of chasing green arrows. And I'm a field differential king. Yeah.